Besides launching a communication satellite, the rocket is a test for whether India will soon be able to send astronauts into space. If things go as planned, a variant of this 640-ton rocket, India's heaviest, will be used to carry Indians into space. This rocket can launch 6 to 10 tons into a low Earth orbit. If you really look at this capability, you can put more than 10 tons into, for example, a near-Earth orbit. And the second thing is that the vehicle itself will be man-rated. So obviously, it will be a very, very important component of a futuristic manned space flight mission when India undertakes it. The Indian Space Agency has already developed critical technologies for a human space mission. The space suit is ready. A crew module was tested in 2014 and the drawings on how to ferry two to three astronauts into space from India are ready. The last Indian to fly into space was Rakesh Sharma way back in 1984. And ISRO suggests the first person to fly into space from India may well be a woman. But for that leap to happen, the success of the first launch of this rocket will be key. And the past experiences of maiden launches of new rockets from ISRO has been disappointing. In 1979, the maiden launch of the Satellite Launch Vehicle 3 ended in failure. In 1993, the first launch of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle ended in the sea. And in 2001, the maiden launch of the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle failed. ISRO desires that if the government gives them clearance, within seven years of the clearance, they will be able to put an Indian astronaut in space from Indian soil. So these are the first steps being laid for sending a human astronaut from Sri Harikota into space. With camera person S.P. Babu in Tiruvananthapuram, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.